Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Bethany and on this channel we talk about toxic religion and we also shine a lot on a problematic Christian influencers. So if any of that resonates with you, go ahead and like this video, share with a friend, and always be sure to subscribe if you are not subscri subscribed, Lord, subscribed yet. And if you would like to receive content 12 to 24 hours early with exclusive content, you can come to my Patreon. Everything is in the description box below. Today, we have two Brittany Dawn videos that she just uploaded, uh, I think, three days ago and like yesterday, I do believe. Um, so we're just going to dive into that. She's been MIA from social media, so we're going to kind of see why and just kind of snark on it a little bit if she says some silly stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. Y'all are probably wondering where the heck I've been. And so I'm here to chit chat with you guys. I've been everywhere, but on social media, which has been so refreshing and so nice. You guys know that I do these social media fasts like once a year. And last year in 2023, I did it in May and I fasted for, I think it was like 39 or 40 days. If I remember correctly, I could be wrong. I'll put it here on the screen. And it was so refreshing. I started out fasting thinking that I would fast for a couple of weeks and then it got to like the two, three week mark. And I was like, I don't want to stop. Like, this is so awesome. And so that is kind of, kind of where I've been. Literally so much, so much has happened in this last month of not being on social media. And I'm really, really excited to get to share some of these things with you guys. I have videos planned out that are actually already ready to go live that will be updating you guys on some very big things that have unfolded in the last month. God's timing is perfect and he has a plan. Even when our plan, our plan falls through and our plan doesn't make sense, he is sovereign over all things. And he is really shown us that in this last month. I'm not going to cry because I've cried in several of the other videos that you guys will be seeing here in the upcoming weeks, but his timing is good. He is faithful. He has a good plan for your life. He's going to work all things together for the good of those who love him. So if you love him, you are in good hands with him. He is a good, good father. And that is all I can really say. We were in New York City. We got back home. Life got a little crazy for a quick second. And now we're just kind of in... It's like it's your own life why can't you explain it's not like a legal legal binding thing why can't you just why can't you just talk about it being uh this fast together obviously jordan is okay wait reel it back in i say that but then in another video <laughs> another video of her telling all of her friends that they're adopting i was like why in the world are you telling them so early so i reel that back in Maybe that is good that she's not talking about it, so. Because <laughs> he's not on socials, and I love that about him. But, yeah, there's just a lot of good things coming up that are on the horizon. And his timing, when he calls you into a fast, it's for a reason. And I'm so grateful that I leaned in and listened to that because it's been really sweet just getting to process these things with my husband and with the Lord with no distractions. And so if you've ever been... That's literally what we've been saying the whole time. Like, stop documenting it and just be with your husband. <laughs> like, that's, that's literally what we... Okay about doing a social media fast I want to highly encourage you to do that it doesn't have to be for a month but even if it's just for a few days like God recognizes every sacrifice and I want to encourage you do the hard thing like fasting is not meant to be easy we're called to fast from the things that are hard that are challenging that challenge our flesh on a daily basis and I've just noticed the overwhelming peace that comes with fasting from social media and I know that there's gonna be comments that are like well if you like being off the internet so much and off social media then just like disappear go Brittany <laughs> y'all like, I'm not going to shoot down God's calling in my life. I know that I know that I know that the Lord has put a testimony inside of my heart. I know that as a daughter of the Most High King, I am called to testify of his good. good Dude, if I would, I should have done it. I didn't know it was going to be like this. But she has said all of the Christian these words already in the first two minutes. Which, granted, this video is three minutes and 45 seconds long. Good God. But... She has hit every single name that people use for God in a prayer, in a praise and worship song that makes it sound, oh, makes it sound a little better than just saying God. Like she is fluffy McFlufferson language. 
through and through. I know that even in the valleys, I'm called to shout his name and shout of how good he is. And I love, I love the calling that he's placed on my life. I'm grateful for it every single day. But even the people that you see on social media, pastors, preachers, whoever it is that you might look up to in ministry, there's so many people that I look up to in ministry. They have to fast. You have to make sure that your cup is filled before you can pour it out. And so that is what this last month has been. Like I said, there's so many sweet things that I can't wait to share with you guys that I will be sharing with you guys in the upcoming weeks and God is good. Then you haven't shared, okay, then you haven't authentically shared that time with your husband because even though you haven't been posting on social media and maybe not scrolling, you have still been recording videos for social media, sitting down with your camera for social media. So, though you have not been on social media in taking the content, which I do agree with Brittany here, everybody should do, um, absolutely 100% because social media, though it has a purpose and can be good, it can also be super toxic, but it, you're, 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 <laughs> You're still doing things for social media while, while like, whatever is happening. You know what I mean? And so, those things, though it was sweet in the moment, everybody's still going to know about it because you filmed it. He is faithful. And the peace in my heart right now, it's unshakable. So, I didn't have a ton to talk about today. I just really wanted to let you know I'm back on socials. And this could have been done in a nice little... 60 second reel on your Instagram, not a freaking YouTube video. Okay, that was three minutes and 45 seconds. So let's go ahead and look at another video she did that's five minutes long. Okay, let me get you to dinner. One second. Thank you. Okay. All right, Brittany. Hello, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. I just woke up. I'm so tired. Um, but I'm about to take a pregnancy test. Yay. And this is officially the last. Okay, if the audio seems just a tad bit contorted, she used music in the background, so I have to, like, jimmy that um, to where instead of me, like, clicking it a hundred million different times so it won't copyright, I'm just going to try to take it out, but it can contort the audio just a tad, so just be mindful of that month of us trying on our own before we start the IUI process, which is really, really exciting. I don't know. I just felt a few things a few days ago that I was like, this could be pregnancy symptoms. This might not be pregnancy symptoms. This could be just because my period is coming. But again, I don't usually have like a ton of symptoms when I'm about to start my period. Again, it's probably nothing. And so I'm just going to take this test and protect my heart. I've been praying for the Lord to protect my heart and just listening towards the music this morning. So here we go. I don't think I've ever seen her forehead move. I think it's weird. Botox is weird, in my opinion. Because it takes, like, it takes your, your expressions away. And, you know, I never understood that until somebody who used to be close to me um, had Botox. And I, because I always thought... <laughs> I always thought, I'm like, there's something about her face that's so strange. Like, not in a judgmental, not in, like, a mean way, but it was like, there's something that's off. And then she talked about how she got Botox in her forehead, and she can't move her eyebrows, she can't move her forehead. And I was like, that's it. You have zero facial expression. And let me tell you, if I could not move my face... I couldn't do this. <laughs> Y'all would be so bored watching my face. So, you're welcome. <laughs> These wrinkles are for you. Yeah. That's what I figured. That's what I thought. Well, that's okay. We are going to be doing IUI. And I have faith in that. Hi, I was calling um, in regards to... Could you possibly transfer me... Good news is they're getting me in tomorrow, so you'll be home. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Good, I, love you. I love you too. My, oh, dude, my husband would be 
so upset if I recorded phone calls of, like, even him, you know, saying sweet things to me, or even, like, because Brittany Dawn is also... Um, posted on social media about a note that Jordan wrote, and it was quite, it was, it was, in, it was intimate. My husband would be so upset, because he's not a very big social media person, you know, anyway, but just for something to, even like a simple phone call, to be between you and your husband, you recording that for a YouTube video Dude, it would be, I don't want to say like, no, maybe upset. Not mad, but he's just like, well, dude, it's just our conversation. Nobody else needs to know that. Like, why did you do that? You know what I mean? And I just feel like Jordan not being a social media guy, which I don't know if he even knows that these conversations or whatever, but I feel like that would bother the other, the other, um, husband, yeah, the other husband, the husband, <laughs> what, what is happening? It would bother the husband if the wife was just like, this is what he said. This is a cute little note. Like, I think if I put on social media the notes and the cute little um, mirror notes that my husband has written me, I think he would be kind of embarrassed, but also like, hey man, that's just me and you stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, I hate it. What? Invasive is the word can't believe it's happening. It's really, really, really happening. Good morning. I am feeling a lot of feelings right now. I'm heading to my appointment right now. I'm going to catch up with you guys afterwards, but I am feeling a little nervous. Today is just the ultrasound and then we will be going over like all of the medications that I have to start. So I think that's the part that I'm a little bit nervous about. I've already had ultrasounds before. Like I kind of know what to expect with that, but yeah. Yeah, I have a prescription that I need to get filled. Okay, thank you. Okay, I just got home from my appointment. Everything went so good. The doctor was very, very happy with how everything was looking. They go in and do an ultrasound on like day two, day three to five of your cycle. I'm learning so much, you guys, so much. They did an ultrasound on me just to make sure that like everything looks good and is preparing for pregnancy. Praise God. And he literally gave me a high five after and was like, you ready to do this? I was like, yeah. And he's like, let's do this. So I just feel. <laughs> For somebody who has complained over and over and over about her safety being in question, your effing neighborhood is not blurred in the background. You know how easy it would be for a super freaking creep to figure out where you live? People already know where you live. But it's like, hey man, which, let me put a pin in that real fast, <laughs> their house, though I'm not, I do not like Brittany Dawn, their house, I can assume because of Jordan, is quite similar to mine, where not a good idea to come on a property. Not a good idea. However, I also do not put my, my house on the internet. I'm not a vlogger. I don't, I don't do that. But she does. But she also doesn't take the necessary um, precautions and the necessary steps to blur out the neighborhood behind her, you know, to blur out different things that would cause hater, not even haters, but like super freaking weirdos to try to find her. You know what I'm saying? So th this is, ugh, this drives me freaking bananas. If you are complaining so much about, oh my God, people like watch me and come into my driveway and blah, blah, blah you know, follow me and all that shit, then number one, your children, never on the internet. Not even a name, fucking nothing. Two, take the necessary precautions, and this is not one of them. 
so excited right now. There's also a piece of me that is trying to guard my emotions a little bit, trying to protect my heart. However, our God is a God of abundance. Our God is a God of redemption. He can do anything he so pleases. Sorry, my camera ran out of memory, but yeah, I had to give some more blood work. As you guys can see, the amount of labs that I have had to get done on this fertility journey is mind blowing. If I could say any little piece of advice of like things to expect when you're walking this journey out, if you're going through it, it's that you're going to have to get a lot of blood work and that's just kind of part of the process. So um, I feel like every time I've been in there, I've had to give labs and, and that's not even my primary care physician, my PCP. I also have to give blood work pretty regularly there. So it's a lot. But for a baby, I know without a doubt that I'm going to look back one day and be like, this is worth it. I have faith. As far as the process goes, um, I start all my medications tonight. So by the time you guys see this video, I will be done with my round of medications, which is really exciting and a little nerve wracking. They did say that there's some side effects. I am going to be taking Clomid. So if you know anything about that, it's known to have side effects. This is part of the IUI process, but I just trust these doctors. I trust them. That the Lord is good and that he can even make it to where my body, I don't feel any crazy side effects. Like I believe in the power of prayer. I believe that he is Jehovah Rapha, that he can do all of these things. And so Jordan is also traveling and I still have six more days until he comes home. Today, really, there would have been no need for him to be there. Emotionally speaking, like I need him there for the IUI. I can't imagine getting that done without him there. I am a little bit nervous about the medication and taking all of this, but at the same time, like, it's okay. Those feelings are normal. I've heard other girls share their stories with Clomid. I know one girl specifically, I actually personally know her, who took Clomid and got pregnant with triplets. Like, wouldn't that be wild? My camera keeps running out of memory. I need to go get another memory card. Anyways, um, I'm going to take you guys through this process with me over the next few days. I'm just grateful for all of your prayers. Great. We're super excited about it. Support and we love you guys so much. So... Yeah, I'm going to go inside and get some food. Okay, it is now 10 o'clock, 10.30. It always freaks me out when content creators tell their followers that they love them. Or like, you're a part of the family. Like, it's weird to me because, yeah, it's weird. I'm about to start my first night of Clomid. I'm a little nervous, but that's okay. I think that's probably a normal feeling. And then I have instructions here on this paperwork for a trick shot when it's time to take that, which will be next week at some point. I'm going to take this and get in bed, and I will update. <laughs> she looks like a Botoxed Up Wednesday. <laughs> in the morning, and how I'm feeling. All I can think of is content creators just, like, putting their phone up and just, like, cuddling into bed and sitting there for a second and then having to get up and take their phone out and then, you know what I mean? It's just so inauthentic. Okay. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I think that's going to conclude this video. I appreciate y'all so very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye. Bye.